Good evening. This is James. This is Shikwasa juice. <coughs> Shikwasa is a sort of citrus fruit common in Okinawa. Ugh. About the most acidic citrus fruit I've ever drunk, and this is a Flip Ultra HD. And I've realized something very important about it. Because these things are not sold in Japan. They're made for the States and sold in the States. And I'm coming to realize something very important about them. I realized this, I sort of suspected this when I took mine through Narita Airport when I first got home and walked on top of linoleum under fluorescent lights and I saw pretty much the same thing which I'll get to in a second what that thing is when I watched a recent Radri video that he also shot with a Flip Ultra HD and I know that give me a break man. I'm pretty sure give me a break man has one of these too. Don't know if he's ever, if he's ever used it under fluorescent lights. I'm realizing that these things are made for places with 60 hertz electricity, like the states. Japan is just about the only country in the world where you have half the country on 50 hertz electricity and the other half of the country on 60 hertz electricity. The first electrical generators purchased for Osaka were purchased from a German company. And I can't remember the name off the top of my head, although I left the name in the comments of a Radri video. The first generators for Tokyo... No, wait, do I have that? I might have the wrong way. Wait, which one, which one was it? Tokyo. AEG, that's right. Tokyo got its first generators from AEG, a German company. Osaka got its first generators from General Electric, which is an American company. As such, the eastern half of Japan runs on 50 hertz electricity, and the western half of Japan, including Nagoya, runs on 60 hertz electricity. The dividing line starts right about Niigata Prefecture and runs north to south. Sadogashima, or Sado Island, which is technically a part of Niigata, is on 60 hertz electricity, and the rest of Niigata, Niigata mainland itself is on 50 hertz electricity. And the dividing line runs south from about there to around Sakuma, down in Shizuoka Prefecture, I believe it is. If you use these things in a room with fluorescent lights in eastern Japan, you'll get all sorts of nasty flickering because those fluorescent, fluorescent, fluorescent lights are running off of 50 hertz of electricity, 50 hertz electricity. So you get some bad flickering on these bad boys. 60 hertz electricity, I'm guessing would not be a problem, because these things were made to be simple. There's not a lot you can configure on these guys. They were made for the states. So I'm guessing they, you wouldn't run into any problems with flickering and fluorescent lights in Osaka or any points west. Or Nagoya for that matter, I should say. But if you're thinking of using these guys in Tokyo, you got to be careful. Because if you shoot in a room with fluorescent lights, like say, I don't know, an airport or a classroom, then you might end up with some serious flickering. So, something to be aware of before you take your Flip Ultra HD to Japan. And hey, who knows, maybe someone at Flip or whatever the company name is will see this and will offer firmware, I guess, some sort of firmware upgrade that would allow one to... I'm just going to have a wild shot at this thing here and see if I can change it. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's no option on this thing for switching between 50 hertz electricity regions and 60 hertz electricity regions. On some cameras, on some, on some cameras you have an anti-flicker option. 
that lets you specify what part of the country you're in. And that has entirely to do with the frequency of the electricity in the region you're at. Now most things that have uh, external transformers, like laptops, doesn't matter. Things that use induction motors, like fans or I guess air conditioners or refrigerators that don't have their own internal transformers, the functionality might differ slightly. Not in any meaningful way. Not in any meaningful way. But they might behave just a little different depending on what part of the country you're in. So, electricity in different parts of Japan. Something to be aware of before you blink, bring bling, bring a Flip Ultra HD to Japan. I can still use this thing in Tokyo, I just have to be careful not to use it around fluorescent lights.